Q2C. Today we're going to have a look at some 3D shapes. Yesterday we looked at 2D. Today, 3D. If you can remember, three dimensional. So it's a bigger shape rather than a flat shape, if you get what I mean. So I'm going to hold up each shape one by one. I'm going to look at the descriptions for them first of all. Then I'll put them in my feely bag like I did yesterday with the 2D shapes and I'll give you some descriptions and time to guess what they are. So first of all then I will start with this shape here. You can remember the name for this shape. So it is a cube. You can remember how many faces it has. The faces is the flat surfaces that go all the way around. So it has six faces. We then look at edges, which is the parts that join the two faces together. So this side here has four edges. If I turn it round, I then have another four edges. And then I've got these edges that go all the way around my cube as well. So in total, it has 12 edges. We then look at the vertices, which are the spiky bits. If you can remember when we talk about it at school, we look at the spiky bits of our 3D shapes. So this has one, two, three, four, and flipping over, five, six, seven, eight vertices. Can you look at what shape is on each face as well? It's a 2D shape we looked at yesterday. So they all have square faces. Now hold up a another shape, which when I think about the descriptions are very, very similar. Again, shape of the faces here, we have squares, but it's not square all the way around. Can you remember this shape and the name? So that one is a cuboid. It has exactly the same amount of faces, vertices, and edges as a cube, but it's the face shape that is different. We have a rectangle and a square face on our cuboid. Okay, our next shape I'll hold up then. Look at the face shape. If I put it on a flat surface, it will roll. That was one of the properties we looked at when we did 3D shapes at school. So, how many faces? One, two, and the one that goes all the way around is a third face. How many edges? One edge here, continuous edge, two edges. Has it got any vertices, pointy bits? No, so we say it has no vertices. Face shape are a circle. Okay, our next shape then. It's missing its bottom on this one, it's a bit of a see-through one. Um, so what shape is this? Again, if I put it on a flat surface, it would roll, if you can remember that name. Sometimes you might wear it as a party hat as well. You get nice colors. Or you might have an ice cream at the top. So we name this a cone. How many faces has it got? One face, two faces, the one that goes all the way around. How many edges? only one edge that goes all the way around and how many vertices can you see a pointy bit to this shape definitely it has one vertices okay next shape that i will hold up i had to improvise with this one um, and i looked in the dog basket and here we are a very raggedy tennis ball from um, my dog tula so we have a ball but we don't call it a ball we call it a sphere so this one has 
one face that goes all the way around, it's discontinuous, doesn't have any edges, and it doesn't have any vertices. It doesn't even have really a, a shape of a face either, it's just one face that goes all the way around. Does it roll? Yes, it does. Okay, our next one then, we have got here, I'll show you the shape of the base that might help you and think about what the Egyptians built millions of, I don't think it's millions of years ago, but a lot of years ago. Um, that will help you. It is a pyramid and we call this one a square based pyramid because of the face shape at the bottom of the base, a square. So talk about how many faces it has. It definitely has one, two, three, four, five faces. How many edges has it got? If I turn it upside down that way, I know that it's got four edges on the base and it's got four edges, two, three, four, on the top part as well. So all together it has eight edges. How many vertices, pointy parts of the shape? One, two, three, four, five. So it has four vertices. I almost forgot the word then. Okay, and if I was giving descriptions, I might talk about um, the shapes of the faces. So we can see here, we have a 2D shape on one face is a triangle. So all of my top faces are triangles and the shape on the bottom is a square. Okay. <clears throat> Um, the last shape I had to improvise because I couldn't see one at school um, when I was in on Tuesday. Sorry. Um, so I've made one just out of a piece of paper that I had lined out and a bit of sellotape. And we have here, I can see a triangle, and we call this one a triangular prism. So it almost looks like a cuboid, except the, the face shape at the front is different. This one we have a triangle, this one we have a square front and has a really really long part of the body. This shape you'll see mainly on those lovely chocolate bars called Toblerones. They are um, triangular prism shapes which is probably why I don't really have many around the house because I haven't been eating any Toblerones unfortunately. So let's see how many faces this one has. One face, two faces and we have three, four, five faces. How many edges on the sides there? One, two, three, other side, four, five, six, and then our edges all the way around the shape, I have another three. One, two, and three on my side. So all together, three, six, nine. So I have nine edges. How many vertices? The pointy parts of a shape. One, two, three, other side, four, five, and six. Okay, and I'm gonna to attempt to shove all of these into the same bag as I used yesterday. And hopefully they'll all fit. It's getting a squeeze. This might just have to poke out from the top so it will fit in. Ta -da! Let me see, let me point out. Okay, so my first shape I have got has no edges and no vertices and one face that is continuous. Can you guess that shape? It is a sphere or a lovely tennis ball for my dog. Okay. Next shape, ooh, I like this one. Uh, you might fill it with ice cream. I'll give you a clue. It has got two faces, one edge and one vertice. The face shape on the base is a circle. That one is a cone, lovely ice cream cone. 
I'm going to get this one out of the way because it's enormous. Oh, I can't really describe it now, can I? Never mind, I'll put it to the side. About 10 minutes into this video, I'm probably not going to record that bit again, just for that mistake. <laughs> so, um, my shape at the moment, I have got a square base. It has got five faces. And it has five vertices. And eight edges. I'm glad I remembered that one. So, what shape has a square base and five vertices. That is a square based pyramid, the trickier one to remember. Next shape. Oh, I like this one as well. It has three faces. It's a shape that rolls and two of the face shapes are circles. That one is a cylinder. Next shape. Oh, it's quite a big one, I'm trying to figure out. Okay, I think I've got this one. It has six faces, 12 vertices, oh sorry, eight vertices, and 12 edges. Has two face shapes. One is a square, and the other face shape is a rectangle. That one is a cuboid. Okay, my last shape then has six faces, 12 edges and eight vertices. The face shape is the same on all sides. That is my cube. Okay, I like that game. That was a really fun game. So, our activities today. So, the first one was to watch the video, which you are watching. Brilliant. Next one is write a list of the shapes that you can see in those models. So, the first one has got some shapes stacked up, and one is a cone, the other is a cylinder, and the third shape is a cuboid. So, on a piece of paper, or however you're doing your work today, so you get A, name the different 3D shapes in it, B, C, D and so on, so name those. The third one is a really, really fun one as well, which I think I was probably doing, trying to find um, this shape here, which is really hard. I went on a shape hunt and I ended up having to make one. But your last activity is um, a 3D shape hunt. So look for a cuboid in your house. How many cuboids can you find? How many cylinders can you find? Have you got any cones? that shape lying about. Um, I reckon if I went in my dog basket I would find um, lots of these and probably some other shapes as well that sh probably shouldn't be there. Um, so good luck today. I really enjoyed that video. It's quite a long one. Um, good luck and look forward to seeing your work. Bye bye Juicy!